Happy birthday to the iPhone, it's turning 10 today. One of the big noticeable things about all Apple products is how thin they're getting over the years. Just look at the original iPhone and look at the iPhone 7. But the question is arising, do you hit a critical mass point in which technology cannot get any thinner? What we know from history is that as science gets better and better, we're able to take more and more stuff and pack it into the same or smaller amount of space. The amount of storage I have in my pocket is more than the Apollo missions had when they went to the moon. How that actually happens is really fascinating to me because I don't really understand it. How you can suddenly just say, oh, we'll just double it. I'd love to see someone in the comments explain to me exactly how they're able to do that every year consistently. Like, what do they keep rediscovering every year? Why are they like, well, have we tried making everything smaller? Oh yeah, good idea, Johnson. Let's do that. I don't know how that works. So some people have theorized that in the future, smartphones or tablets or whatever will be so thin they'll be like paper or they'll just be as thick as a credit card in your pocket. I'm going to slightly disagree with that in a way as in I don't think it's actually functional when you make a device that small. Even if we had the science ready, which I do think Think we'll be able to see that within our lifetimes. I don't think smartphone companies will want to make a smartphone that thin just because you want kind of a solid surface in your pocket. Bending, even on paper and cardstock, results in tearing over time. So it wouldn't really be good for technology to be flexible at all times because there's currently not something that is infinitely flexible without wearing down. That's why we like to make our devices with glass and metal. They're rigid, they're solid structures, they're very hard to break. What I personally think could happen is keeping the general board order of a smartphone or tablet or desktop, whatever, keeping that fairly thick so that it still has some grip to it and it still has some rigidness. And then maybe in the middle of the phone, we can get more creative. There are already ways of projecting pixels onto glass, transparent glass, as in you can see through those pixels at literally what is behind it. But again, all of the components of a smartphone have to take up this amount of space right now. But perhaps in the future, we could push all of those components, both the camera, the specs, speaker, microphone, all into kind of a border that kind of looks like a bumper case. Just imagine a bumper case with like the glass on the inside of it and that's where your stuff is projected. Bezels will be as thin as possible, but still. If we had phablet sized credit cards in our pockets, first of all, that could get sharp. If it was still rigid, but thin, that's just kind of like a cutting hazard, as well as being incredibly easy to lose. I've already had a few times where it's annoying how easily my phone slips between the seats of a car. I'll have it sitting there and then it'll slip down and be like, oh, it fell into an impossible to reach crack because my fingers are thicker than the phone. So the phone fell into this little crevice and now I can't get it. That's where the new problem arises that things are too thin to become easy to lose and given if we had kind of a glass display on the inside maybe even hard to find as things are getting smaller though priority one can we all just agree that the iphone 8 should get rid of the camera bump before you make the actual phone thinner focus on that because you got to get over that either expand the battery and make the phone flush or if you found a way to make all the components smaller within the iphone make room for that camera that would be great Apple, as well as every other tech company out there. I think this could be a new coming of age, maybe in the late 2020s, 2030s, to get all of our devices to just kind of look like giant glass panels with pixels on them. Then we would kind of feel like we're in the future, which I would appreciate. Seeing Avatar kind of like that. Or like Captain America Civil War, Iron Man has a smartphone that's like transparent and glass and stuff. I don't think we're anywhere near 3D holograms though, because that defies a few laws of physics. However, the pixels on glass thing with putting the components of each device into kind of a bumper around the edges, that's how I think we can take advantage of making things smaller. And I think the first evidence of this will be when Apple inevitably releases their new augmented reality glasses. Tim Cook says AR is a big part of Apple's future. They don't really show it in any way. So I'm trusting that AR is in development and they're not going to release it until it's ready. But when it is ready, we're going to see those really light glasses that have a ton of stuff in them that they can also project onto glass. That opens the door to all kinds of possibilities that can come to your phone, your tablet, even the watch. I think that'd be kind of neat, even though you'd just be kind of looking at your skin all day. So maybe not, but still. That's the kind of the design I'm anticipating in the future. What do you think they're going to do with making things infinitely smaller? Let me know in the comments below. This is your Apple Sheep here and I will see you in the next one.